Okay. I'm making a video talking about Olaplex. And I felt it necessary to do this video. And I'm happy to say that I've been using Olaplex um, for some months now. Um, I first started using the number three. That was the first one I used. And I used it by itself. Um, that's the first product that I used, period. And I used it alone. And I did notice a difference. Now, what I'm going through with my hair is I need to go ahead and I've just clipped my ends off uh, in the month of March. I think, no, wait a minute, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, it's April. No, it was in, in February. So in February, I got my ends clipped off. My hair has been going through some changes that I needed to go ahead and get the split ends um, dealt with. So I got a pretty good amount of my split ends uh, cut off. And I'm probably going to have to uh, get at least one more uh, time that I'm going to get my end, uh, split ends cut off. And I'm probably going to be pretty good. Or at least for the most part. But right now, I'm really, I'm really decent. Um, my hair, the changes that my hair has been going through is my split ends have been so bad. Because I had gotten my hair um, split ends cut. A few times probably I think it was real good in 2020 and I tried to stay on top of it but it didn't work out so anyway I had a lot of stuff that I was dealing with so I had to kind of fall off of that so I'm gonna try to get back on track with that but for the most part right now I'm doing okay so the getting the first uh, split ends cut in February has made a huge difference so, let me go down the line again with the Olaplex. So, I started off with number three, and I think that was in the year, I think I started out in 2021. And, like I said, I noticed a big difference in the number three by itself. It was decent. Um, the other problem that I was having that went along with the split ends is it would make it it would make it hard for me to comb or brush through my hair without it just grabbing you know just grabbing um the comb um or the brush and it that's that's what was real really annoying and it gotten very bad and then also um having problems with your hair uh detangling um the 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 strands would easily you know, kind of clamp up or curl up around each other. And it would be very hard. And it, it just made everything so difficult. So, um, when I use this by itself, the first time that I started using it, I noticed a superb difference in my hair being easily detang detangable. I mean, um, well, y'all know what I'm trying to say. To detangle easily to detangle so I mean I mean it made a super difference and I do use it before I wash my hair like like it that like it's the direction say it's supposed to be so anyway I would wet my hair a little bit like it like they say um, you get it somewhat down and then you put the number three on it okay so like I said when I first used it it made a hell of a difference. I mean, the difference was it was so easy for me to, to detangle my hair where it was taking away a lot of the struggle. Um, I'm the type right now, I have to go ahead and put my hair into sections just to even wash it or whatever. Okay, so at that time when I first started using it, I didn't have my ends clipped, fresh ends clipped at all. So that, that by itself made a difference even with the split ends. Okay, so I think the next step that I made was um, I bought the number zero 
to use with the number three. And of course, I put it on first on um on my hair before I washed it and I actually um left it on for the time that you're supposed to leave it on the 10 minutes um and then put on the number three now I'm gonna be honest at that time since they do have a return policy I had I needed to buy I think by that time I needed to buy another number three so I had already made my decision that I was going to buy number three regardless. Oh, and let me shout out um, Sin Doll's channel because she is the one that really turned me on to using the Olaplex. Now, I had heard about it before and I came across some information, but, you know, at that time, I was looking at the price and I was like, okay, you know, I, but I was seeing a lot of good information about it. But at that time, it wasn't something that um, convinced me to get it. So when I understood a lot more from looking at Sin Doll's channel, um, it, 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 that's when I made my decision, okay, I'm going to try this. Because like I said, well, I'm one of those people that um, one product to use on your hair um, for the price that they do most of the products at. I was like, okay, at that time I wasn't ready, but at that time I was also thinking, okay, you need to step up your game when it comes to your uh, products, um, hair care products. If it's a little bit more pricey, um, just go ahead and pay for it if you know it's worth it. It's worth it. So what I did was I took the number three back, and like I said, I needed a, uh, I'm not a number three, made a mistake. I took the zero back because in my opinion, in which I've heard it on other videos, that you don't, if you don't really notice a difference, I mean, some people do, but in my honest opinion, how it did with me, the zero, the number zero did not make that big of a difference with the number three. To me, I'm one of those people that the number three works fine by itself without the number zero. Okay. So, and let me mention this because I didn't mention it, okay? I was able to, see, this is how much this product has made an, an impression on me with just the number three by itself. So, by the time the holidays came around in December, I had already understood that you could get a whole, um, this whole kit, um, you know, cheaper than you would buy it separate. So, I went on and snatched one up. At the time that I snatched it up, they were going like hotcakes. And I was like, damn, you know. So I was thinking about getting two of them because I, I, I can, my hair, as you can see, my hair is thick. Okay. And it can use up a decent amount of, especially number three. And I'll explain some more on the rest of these products. So, but I only got one. It's not that bad. Um, I haven't used up too much of anything um except the number three which i don't know if you can see um it's down at the bottom i've got a this might be one use and if i have to i'll probably add some water to it just to stretch it out because it would be nice if i could get two uses out of this because i'm going to get try to get back to um with with my hair being more more manageable to take care of, because I'm gonna explain this in a minute. Um, I'm probably trying to get back to at least washing my hair from the start once every two weeks, and then I might even go back to washing it once a week, um, because I have done that before, or at least you know here and there. But once every two weeks is is pretty straight for me for sure. If I can get back into the habit of doing every two weeks, I'll be I'll be good. Another thing that I'm going to mention, dealing with looking at the Sin Doll channel, because I've caught a couple of her lives, and it, it has made a, a big difference on listening at her, because she's actually a licensed cosmetologist, which I didn't know that there was a difference between a licensed cosmetologist and a um, licensed um, 
hairdresser or stylist. That's it, a licensed stylist. I thought they both were the same because I've never heard any of that fully explained out. But she, anyway, she's a licensed cosmetologist. And her information that she gave at the time that um, I learned a lot that I needed to know, including the Olaplex, when she was like, oh, this is a, a great your product. It, it works. It's very good. So at the, at the time, and even now, I'm still dealing with um, scalp issues, and I know that I have that candida um, in my, you know, coming through, through my scalp. And that's another reason why I'm going to end up washing my hair as often as possible. And this, this is making it very easily to do that. So another thing that I had to do looking at um, Sindal's channel and catching her live, somebody else had a problem like I did, where the scalp got, got real itchy and I'm not used to that. So she explained that it is candida. And I guess some people don't... Um, know about candida being a problem in the scalp just like it is for the rest of the body where you can have thrash on your tongue or whatever um women deal with having um yeast infections which um males have it they can have it in their system too and they don't understand that but they it might not be detectable like it is with a female so anyway i'm not having those issues right now at all but it's just a point that Sometimes your tongue can be white from having candida, but and but my scalp is really giving me problems. But see, my problem is, and um, it's a diet problem. So I won't get into that. Maybe I'll get into that on another video. But basically, it's causing my scalp to itch real bad. Um, so what it is, I've been having to use um, um, tea tree oil or either oregano oil. And it really helps. So what I'll do is, and, and I was listening to Sandal's channel, and on her live, she was explaining this. First of all, she was saying, you really need to clean the scalp very well. And I thought I was cleaning my scalp very well, you know, maybe two or three times, washing it or whatever. Um, but when I went dealing with this candida, I realized that I've been using um, a clarifying shampoo. And I'll add, and, and you might can find a shampoo... Um, I know they have the Trader Joe's shampoo with the um, tea tree oil in it. But I like to add my own um, concentrates. Even if I buy that, I'll still add some real uh, tea tree oil to it or some oregano oil. So what I have to do is I have to shampoo my hair with the clarifying shampoo, add in the um, tea tree or the oregano oil to kind of get down in there and get to that uh, yeast. I'll do that. Uh, twice then I'll come in and use the number four shampoo after I've done the clarifying and the tea tree oil or oregano oil now one thing I will say and I saw this on other um, videos but I will say it myself my as my if for my hair being as thick as it is um it does not take a lot, and that's why I will show you how much is left, and I've been using this just as much um, as the number three. But you can see the difference. Cause it, and I mean, I'm one of those people that can say, okay, um, I need more shampoo. But this right here, um, you can take a small amount, and like I said, I do mine in sections. So... Sometimes I can have so much left over in my hand, even if it's a small amount, that it'll, it'll suds one section up and I can go to the next section and suds it up. And it'll be almost enough. So it doesn't take much at all. Now, after the shampoo, I go ahead and I use the number five conditioner. Now, my honest opinion about this conditioner, which I've also heard this also in other videos, um... Like I say, different people have, you know, it turns out different from different people. My honest opinion, like I said, I'm so glad that I got this whole kit at one time. But to me, this is an okay um, conditioner. 
but I feel like what I do is I put this conditioner on my hair first, let it sit for a little while, and then I actually put my own conditioners. Um, you know, I like to mix and, and match a lot of stuff up. But what I do is I actually um, put this conditioner on, leave it on for a while, and then go ahead and add my other conditioners. Um, I have a habit of using um, a heating cap that I've been using for a long, long, and I mean a long time. Um, it makes a difference. Now, I know a lot of people like to use the steamer, but I haven't bought a steamer yet. But when I say that it makes a difference when you use um, a heating cap. So anyway, about this conditioner, it's, it, when I have to replace these products, probably um, separately, I, I won't be concerned about this right here. Because I can't tell the difference between this uh, conditioner and the conditioners that I use. And like I said, I do add oils to my conditioners and it makes a difference because my hair can be dry. Okay, uh, last but not least in this kit, you have the uh, binding oil number seven. Now, this binding oil is saying on the back that it, it can be used uh, to boost shine and it is a heat protectant up to 450 Fahrenheit. So I'm going to say that I use it decent, you know, but as you can see, it's a ba it's basically half. It's like I, I put it on each section and I'm not heavy handed with it. So it could be, you know, less than what it is. It's a okay all. I don't, I'm going to say like this. I'm going to try to hold on to it as long as I can, knowing that it is a heat protectant. But I do have another product that I'm also using as a heat protectant, but I haven't used it yet. But I will probably make a video about that. Okay. Um, so as far as the number seven, um, I'll try to, like I said, I'll try to hold on to it as long as I can. And then if I feel the need to um, replace it at another time, then I, I probably will if I feel it's necessary. But the thing about it is I haven't really used it to straighten my hair. And I might be planning to straighten my hair within the next 24 to 48 hours. So we'll see how that works out. And I might do a video. I'm not going to promise it. But I might do a video and do a couple of um, pulls with one awl and um, the all the other awl that I have that's a heat protect protectant. So I, I might do that comparison. Um, the other things that I want to mention real quick is, okay, number zero. Like I said, I, m me personally right now, I'm not going to worry about using the number zero with the number three. But maybe in the future, if I decide to try to get as many Olaplex products as possible, because I do feel like even if some of, of the products may not uh, seem noticeable, but I, I, I will show this in a few minutes, um, the reason why I might decide to get as many products as possible um, at one time later on. Okay, um, the number... The number eight is a moisture mask, and at one time I plan on getting that because I'm I'm reviewing that on the videos, and I'm seeing that it's supposed to be very good. So I'm one of those people that I like um, products like that, especially as if if it's a moisture, I need as much moisture as possible, and for it being a mask, I like using masks. Okay, also the number nine um, is a hair serum. Um, I plan on maybe trying that in the future too. But right now dealing with having the number seven oil and me having another protecting oil, I'm going to let that be one of the latter um, products that I might try. Okay, last but not least, what I'm going to talk about as far as the um, Olaplex, and it's not in order but I'm I'm chose to uh, talk about this last because I was going to get this um, before any store that carries the Olaplex closed, but I didn't make it 
because all of them close it by nine o'clock. But most likely, that's why I said within the next 24 to 48 hours, I might straighten my hair. And I want to put this product on here before I actually do that. It's really not necessary, but I want to see what it what it does to my hair because I've seen a lot of people speak about it on in, in, in their videos. Okay, it's, it's the number six, the Bond Smoother. And one of the differences that, that I've noticed um, that when people put it on their hair before they straighten it, it makes a hell of a difference. So I'm probably going to purchase that within the next 24 to 48 hours. Okay, now, that's basically everything that I wanted to talk about as far as Olaplex on this video. But I wanted to um, show real quick, demonstrate that I wish I could have shown you how much of a struggle it was for me to glide anything, including my fingers, through my hair without it being a super struggle and the ends of my hair grabbing because they were split. Okay, like I said... Um, in the beginning, I probably have at least one more time that I'm going to need to get my ends clipped for me to feel like it's, it's pretty much handled at this point. But I want to show you that, I mean, it's, it's gliding through my hair so easy. I mean, I feel, I feel so much relief from what my hair has been going through. And it's been a pretty good amount of time because I had been doing a lot of, um, clipping my hair ends and you know whether it was professionally or whether I did it myself but this is the best my hair this is the best that my hair has been able to do this in a long time and the only thing that I've done to my hair since I washed it and used the Olaplex products uh, within the last 24 hours is I blow dried it so I have not done anything else to it um, I did put the oil on it so I mean, this is just, to me, this is a a, um, a super 100, almost 100 um, improvement. I can even count. Now, this is something that could not be done for sure. Um, to be able to, cut, and this is a small tooth comb. As you can see, the thing about it is I, my hair is very thick. And this is natural hair, no perm, no chemicals at all, no color, no nothing. So... For my hair to be able to, um, for me to be able to go through my hair with this small tooth comb like this, I mean, I could not do this for nothing in the world um, before I got my ends clipped the first time and then using this product. And the thing about it is, you can see it grabbing just a little bit, but like I said, this is, this is a major improvement um, from what it was. So I have no problem with just a little grab, grabbing from... A small tooth comb, because like I said, I, my hair was grabbing a big tooth comb. So a large, tooth, and I'm talking about a wide tooth comb. I mean, it was just, it was, it was horrific. So anyway, um, and I'm going to also brush it from the back, just to let you know that this is how easily I can brush through my hair because of using this Olaplex. I mean, it's amazing. And like I said, I've been using it for a good uh, few months. And when I may say a few months, I mean all of the um, the products that I just showed you. That, uh, except for the Zero that I, I actually returned. Because you do have the ability to return your products if you're not satisfied. And at the time, like I said, I felt like I would... I was going to do better by getting the number three again because I had ran out because this is my second bottle of number three if I remember right. So anyway, this is basically the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick and this is another thing I can contest to. I'm not using a paddle brush. I'm not used to using a paddle brush. Um, I didn't even think my hair was able to use a paddle brush. You, you know, able to be used on my hair because of how thick it is and it being natural. But like I said, since my ends have been clipped, uh, split ends have been clipped for the first, first go around, 
I can use this paddle brush to blow dry my hair or just a brush through and it's made a difference on even brushing my scalp especially dealing with the um, situation I said about my scalp um, having the candida coming out through my scalp so anyway just a big improvement and and I did um, this is not an expensive paddle brush uh, to say the least um, so I just wanted to make a video to even bring about all of the Olaplex products and talk about the improvement that I have seen by using it and like I said once again I'm gonna give a shout out to Sin Dolls channel uh, because all of her information has helped me tremendously so that's the end of the video I hope that I the information that I gave can help someone out because like I said being able to brush through my hair with this paddle brush and I do use Denman brushes also and I do use um the bristle um boar bristle brushes too so for me to be able to brush through comb through run my fingers through my hair like that and it's natural and it has not had any kind of heat other than the blow dryer that's a whole that's a big improvement all right well i'll make other videos um in the future talking about the olaplex any improvements or whatever so just be looking forward to my videos thank you